So just a little bit background about me, who I am, what I'm building. Uh, my name is Divya and I'm the co-founder of a company called Pinky Promise. What Pinky Promise does is it provides highly instant as well as high quality reproductive healthcare information and services to women in the form of an Android as well as an iOS app. We do a lot of things which are very different from kind of what exists today in the market. As you all know, uh, there are, uh, you know, in India, nearly 360 million women of reproductive age. Most of those women are not, and, and you know, 8% of total of these women are concentrated in the very big cities of India, like, you know, the Delhi, Bombay, whereas 92% of them are concentrated outside these big cities. Uh, at the same time, there are only 70,000 trained gynecologists in India, 50,000 of whom are located inside these big cities, and only 20,000 are outside. So there's a huge supply-demand mismatch at the outset between the demand for sort of reproductive health care services and the supply for it. At the same time, women have generally poorer behaviors when it comes to just taking care of themselves compared to men. Uh, you know, our mothers or our sisters or elder caregivers who are women, it's very normal for them to have chronic like backaches and headaches and other issues and just go ahead with their jobs or whatever they're doing. But at the same time, if their children or their significant others or other people in their family are unwell, they're the first people to actually take them to a healthcare center. So, you know, because of that, what ends up happening is eventually there's a very high out-of-pocket expenditure, high amount of expenditure that women incur in terms of their healthcare issues because they've not worked on the preventative and early detection part of it. Um, and thirdly, in addition to the supply demand as well as financial issues that women face, there are a lot of social issues. So in India, talking about reproductive healthcare is taboo. It's just not a normal thing. You know, there's a lot of awkwardness and silence and hash hash associated with things like, you know, your your menstrual cycle or urinary tract infections and those kind of things. And so what we found at Pinky Promise, before we started the company, we just surveyed women uh, to understand what was going on today. And we realized that out of 300 women between the ages of 18 to 32, across, you know, the big, small, as well as smaller cities and towns of India, 70% of them. When they had a reproductive health care issue, they didn't go to a doctor. Uh, but at the same time, what's interesting and what's happening in India in terms of its macro climate is a very high availability of penetration of mobile internet because India has the cheapest 4G internet rates in the world and a good penetration of affordable smartphones. And so because of this, women actually take to the internet in very high volumes to search for their reproductive health care symptoms and try and find a source of care. So, you know, that's basically where Pinky Promise comes in. We've built an integrated healthcare platform and it does a few things. So the minute that instead of you Googling your symptoms and being really lost and finding like 500 different sources that tell you that you could be having HIV or cancer or it's genetic, uh, you can come to Pinky Promise and we've built a symptom checker that covers different reproductive healthcare issues, which will walk you all the way from a symptom to an ex exact understanding of what that symptom means. It's built by, you know, gynecologists and it's also verified by some of the top gynecologists of India. Uh, and, and we take from the medical protocols that doctors themselves use to diagnose you in order to be able to deliver like an accurate symptom assessment. And then we've built something very innovative. We've actually built a system wherein you can, in the click of a button, actually send those symptoms straight to a gynecologist in addition to answering a few questions about your medical history and so on and so forth. 